this session of parliament promises to be a stormy one. We have Mr. Narayan Swami with us. Mr. Narayan Swami, come what may, the opposition and in fact most political parties in the opposition have made it very clear that they are going to put the government on a mat. They are not going to let the house run. Whether it's the BJP, whether it's the Samajwadi party, every other political party. How do you plan to tackle this? No, as far as uh, the issues uh, to be raised in the parliament is concerned, there are set rules uh, in the, both the houses of parliament. If the opposition parties give notice and if the honorable speaker and also honorable chairman accepts those notices and if they fix a time, the government is willing to discuss and debate and thereafter solution can be arrived at. Because the stalling the proceedings of the parliament, neither it will be useful for the opposition nor for the ruling party. Ultimately, the government, the exchequer is wasted, the public money is wasted because the government, as far as the government is concerned, we made it very clear that on any issue, if the members of, from various political parties, opposition parties, if they bring, bring the issues in the parliament, government is willing to debate the issue and then try to find a solution. But they don't want a debate. They want things, for example, the police commissioner should be sacked. They want the prime minister to give a reply. They want the law minister to be sacked. How do you propose to tackle that? No, no, as far as, as, far as the, the first of all, whenever some issues are raised, those issues have to be discussed in the parliament. Then solution has to be found out. But, you know, they say that, you know, do this, do that, the opposition, because the opposition is trying to start the pressure tactics. It is not acceptable in a democracy. As far as our government is concerned, we accommodated the opposition on various issues, most, most of the issues. Yeah, but the, as, as the, now, the, 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 actually, the budget is to be passed, then various uh, the, the discussion on the food security bill and also la land acquisition bill, which is a, both are the very landmark bills, both are now slated for a debate in the House. Both of them have to be passed. And also various other issues, even if the opposition parties want to discuss, the government is willing to accommodate and then de discuss the issue in the parliament. The Vice President yesterday had appealed to all the opposition parties and also had come out with certain guidelines he had suggested, but most of it was rejected by the members of parliament. Are you unhappy about that? And do you think many of the demands which were raised by the Vice President were actually quite unreasonable? No, no, I don't say that, you know, the... The, the points raised or even the issues brought by the Honorable Vice President are absolutely valid, absolutely required because the, we, the, we, the members of Parliament, we are coming to the House for the purpose of debate and discussion on public issues, for the purpose of giving remedy to the people, uh, for the purpose of raising issues which are of national importance, uh, avoiding that, using the lung power, not allowing the House to function, then, uh, we, then the, where, where is the relevance of parliament? Yeah, but, but also the point over here is that there are important bills. For example, a land bill, the food security bill, which the Congress party is looking at as a game changer. You know, you lost one ally in the last budget session. Are you worried because the Samajwadi party, you know the kind of language they are using, they are threatening to pull out. Where will you get the numbers from? Aren't you worried, for example, even the general budget may not be passed? No, no. As far as the, the our supporting parties are concerned, the alliance parties are concerned, we are engaging them, we are talking to them, we are discussing with them. And you know, because as well as, the, you know our number, everybody knows our number, but the supporting parties are there with us, they are giving us the support from outside. But we will engage them, we will try to win over them and we will try to see that uh, they, they come, ar come around us. Will you reach out also to parties, for example, like the left? No, I cannot say anything on that because the uh, left parties are sitting on the opposition side. I cannot say you anything. You can always reach out to them. No, no, but they, because, you know, I cannot say anything. They, at the level of the uh, leadership, the decision has to be taken. I cannot speak anything. And that was Pallavi Ghosh getting us that exclusive interview. We can expect a stormy day in Parliament today. Remember, the House of Elders displayed some pretty juvenile behavior on the last day of the last session. So are we expecting an encore? Maria Shakira is joining us live from New Delhi. I believe she has the BJP's Prakash Javadekar with her. Maria, it's over to you. Will the BJP let the house function today? Let me ask that question to Mr. Prakash Javadekar. Sir, you are the member of Upper House. There was effort made by the chairman of the Rajya Sabha to let the house function. Why are you opposed to those guidelines? No, we are not opposed to smooth functioning of parliament. But for that, government has to work fair, they must do uh, fair play. What they are indulging, they are looting the country and now they are in a massive cover-up. And that's why the nation is protesting. The way rape law has been uh, not implemented and the way rapes are happening uh, more than uh, frequently. So that is why people are angry. 
it is inflation, corruption, unemployment, and this cover-up of JPC through CBI manipulations. All these are very relevant issues, those we want to raise. Host of issues you are saying, sir. Um, you have moved the suspension of question hour notice on the CBI report on the Colgate. Yes. Is that the issue you want to be taken up on the day one? Yeah. There may be many issues and many notices, but yes, this is very important issue because despite Supreme Court's uh, strict order to the CBI that they should not show it to the uh, to the, any political bosses, still CBI went, CBI was called in by the minister and he tried to vet it and vetted it, the report, status report, which was to be presented to the Supreme Court. This is absolute contempt. And not only contempt, this is again an example of use, abuse and misuse of CBI for political purposes by this Congress. So you, what do you want? You want the law minister to be sacked? What is the discussion it point? It is actually the, uh, in coal scam, the buck stops at the prime minister. It stops at the prime minister because he was the coal minister. He has signed every such illegal allotments. He has signed it. And so we are targeting the government. Not one individual, but buck stops at PM. There, we heard from the BJP <coughs> patriarch, Mr. L.K. Adwani. He was very critical of the JPC draft report, which gives a clean chit to the Prime Minister and Finance Minister. Will you be supporting the suspension of question hour notice that has been given by the AIA DMK to discuss the JPC draft report? Yeah, definitely, because 2G is a massive corruption, a monumental corruption of this UPA government. And there also the role of the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister is in question. And just to give them clean sheet, they are targeting Atal Bihari Vajpayee government, which actually uh, made the IT revolution possible, it made the communication revolution possible, and still in a cover-up attempt. And now Narayan Swami has audacity to say that I don't know who has prepared the report. That one thing is sure, it is prepared by ghost writers and not by the JPC chairman. The people are saying that. No, when, then why not register this protest? You have already said that you would request all the NDA constituents to reject the JPC report. Yes. Then why not regi register this pro protest in the JPC? Yes, but that doesn't mean that uh, we will definitely register our protest in JPC. Whatever we have to say uh, and we will reject the report, the issue is uh, that parliament is the uh, a real forum where all this has to be, because how you are governing, governance is the issue and corruption is the issue and that is why you are using the government machinery to cover up. That's a big fraud on nation so and that is what we will bring to the notice of the country. We, will we be seeing discussions or disruptions from the opposition? See, it is, the last whole session it was disruption by their own friendly parties. It was not by opposition. So, as opposition, we were always responsible. But if government doesn't allow, uh, and in the name of disciplining the house, if somebody is trying to give, if somebody is trying to give a government a wage, which it needs in Rajya Sabha because they don't have the majority on their own, and to rush through the business, that won't happen. No, isn't it competitive politics that we see no. in Rajya Sabha, particularly during question hour notices? Because you, because everybody in the country is watching it. There is a live telecast. That is the reason, perhaps, no. members are in the well of the house, disrupting the functioning of the no. house. See, this is. Let us understand. I'm, I'm, I, I must register my protest here. The whole last session, budget session, was disrupted at many times by the supporting parties of the UPA. But media that time never raised an issue on that. But having said that, let me also put it, the whole day is live broadcast, live telecast. So it is not about. And if you have to see uh, what to do with the question hour and how to allow people to raise their issues of immediate concerns, that can be debated any time. But the issue at the moment is the fraud committed on the country by the government, how we can't take it. Uh, silently. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, Shreya, clearly that the mood has been set by the opposition. There are a host of issues that they will be taking up in this uh, remaining part of the budget session, mm. beginning with Colgate and obviously the JPC report that gives a clean chit to the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister.